Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and today we're going to try to get this old devil of a laptop. This is the PowerBook 1400 CS. This is the 166 megahertz model and I want to see if we can get this thing on the internet. Now this is a very ancient machine by today's standard but we're trying to breathe new life in it. As you know, we were successful upgrading the battery so we can run on battery power now, or we can run it off the power of the wall. We have a CF drive in there, working fantastic. And what we want to do now is I like to get it on the internet. So what I got for it, and this is new, factory sealed, and this is a Farallon PCMCIA Ethermac PC card. And it's with the factory cable in it too. And it also has the original floppy disk. So we're going to install this and see if we can get this thing online. Now we know it's not going to be speedy. It's going to be very slow. But I think it would be pretty neat if we could get this thing online. So that's what we're going to attempt today. We're going to try to get this thing on there. So first off, we have the software. This is the Ethermac PC card installer disk. And this is, has the necessary drivers on it to work on this uh, PowerBook. And this is by Farallon. Uh, they made a lot of stuff for the Apple products. And this is the actual Ethermac PC card right here. It's never been used. It's in the box or rather than the little plastic case here. Got a little bit of weight to it too also. And then we also have the special cable for it. Uh, you can see it says Farallon on it. This goes into the Ethermac card. And of course then this is your regular Ethernet uh, RJ connector. Now as you know we're running system 9.1 on it and uh, we haven't tried to put 9.2 on it. Now supposedly you have to have 64 meg built-in memory to run 9.2. I haven't tried it yet but uh, we're gonna leave it this the way it is for right now. I want to get, see if we can get this thing on the internet and uh, I think it'd be pretty cool if we could. Uh, now we have the old browsers with it. Uh, I would like to get a more modern browser like Classilla uh, to see because uh, I've been on the Mac Rumors forum and that seems to be like one of the better browsers to use on these old power books so that's what I'm gonna try to do okay so I think the first thing we'll do is we will install the software on it and we're gonna use this disk here to install the software right there we'll let this finish loading up here I just turned it on and we're on the battery. We're not plugged into anything here. And as soon as we get booted up, we will try to load the software on it. Okay, so let's uh, try to install some software on this here. And here's the, uh, you can see the installer right here. So we'll click onto that. And it says uh, installer. So let's do that. Okay, so we're going to hit the install. And this is the first time that I've ever 
ever had one of those PC cards on this. So it'd be interesting to see um, how this thing uh, works here. But we're letting it install. And as soon as it's done installing, oh, that was quick. So now we'll restart here. Okay, so the software seems to have installed. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, Etherlink card in it. This is what it looks like. And that's where it plugs into the computer. And that's the Ethernet part of it there, the other end of it. And I'll just kind of hold this up for you guys to read. Trying to get this in the light. There we go. Let me hold it just a little bit differently here for you. And that way you can read it. So you can see the stuff on the back of it. It's pretty cool. I mean, this is brand new old stock. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this in here. Okay, so that is in there. And there it popped up right there. So let's just uh, click this here. It's going to ask us to uh, configure it here. Okay guys, so we got it configured, but the issue is, of course, now we have to get a more modern browser on it, because if we try to do, um, let's just go to Netscape here, and we'll try to launch it here. It's very slow to open. And when we try to go to it, we're going to get this, we're going to get this error code. Netscape and the server cannot communicate securely because they have no common encryption. Alert. 
Netscape and this server. So we know that. So now we need to get the more modern browser for this thing, so we need to get Classzilla on it. But my problem is um, this does not have a USB port on it and a floppy drive even though it's a, a SIT file still isn't small enough to fit on all of the high density floppy drive and my CD drive I have not uh, upgraded that yet to put a one that's working in it so I can't burn a CD so my thought is I'll take the CF drive out of this I'll hook it to my modern iMac here and I have the SIT file on my iMac and what I'm thinking is I'm just going to try to drag it in that file if I can't do it on this one then I'll do it on a G4 cube and we'll try it that way I'm just trying to get Classilla on there so once I get it on there I uh, can launch the installer on it and get hooked up to the internet because I've got the uh, Ethernet all configured it's got the IP address and everything on it now it's the issue with the browser so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try to get Classzilla uh, on the CF drive and then we'll put the CF drive back in it and then try to launch it from there okay so what I've done is uh, I've got my CF drive hooked up down here uh, you can see right there I took the CF card out of the power book and my little uh, CF reader here which is plugged via USB in the back of the Mac and this is the SIT file right here of the Classzilla and as you can see it won't let me put it in there see right there let me do it let me get this a little higher here. It will not let me put that in there. Open it up. I thought, well, I'll just open up the applications here and try to drop it in here that way. Nope, won't let me do it. So we're going to do the cube and we'll try to do it that way. Okay, so we are booting off the uh, cube and we're booting in the tiger here and uh, just waiting for it to load up there and there it comes up and this cube runs at 600 megahertz this has an upgraded board but there's going to be a video coming out in the future we're going to uh, we're going to uh, really push it beyond its limits um, I've had this board in the works for about three months now and so hopefully I'll be getting it real soon and uh, more on that later so anyway, uh, you can see we have, uh, let me get use the right mouse here because I have three systems going on here at one time here. All right, so we're in Tiger right now. And so what I want to do, now this is, this is the CF drive right here. And what I want to do is I want to take and go into the Applications folder here. And what I want to do is I want to load Classzilla in there. So what we're going to do is, and I believe, uh, let's see. Okay, good. It's going to let me do it. Good. Nice. And hopefully this will work. And I'm going to put all three of these on there because I want to make sure that I get one of these that works. And if this doesn't work, then I'll have to, there's another one I can load, download rather, um, that's already a complete file but hopefully these will unzip on this uh, power book 
because it does have stuff at expander already on it. Okay, good. All right. So we're going to close out of that and we're going to shut this down and we're going to put the CF drive back into the power book and let's see what happens. Okay, so we got the CF card back in it and we're just booting it back up here and um, get rid of this here and just let it load up here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to go into the applications folder. Oh, look at that. Our, our uh, SIP files are there. Good. All right. So let's try. Let's see what happens here. Oh, lovely. Let's try this one. And uh, I don't know why, that, why it doesn't want to do that, because it's got stuff at Expander on there. So anyway, so... Well, we're finally uh, unstuffing the Classzilla folder. Um, I had to search around. I, I found the stuff at the engine. It was in the uh, Internet uh, Utilities folder. So I just dropped it in, and now it's opening it up. And so hopefully we'll be able to install Classella on this and get up on the internet. Look at that guys, we finally got on the internet. It finally eventually connected up. It timed out before, I had to restart it and uh, it finished doing whatever it needed to do. And it says we are running the most current version of Classzilla. Now like I said, this thing is extremely slow, but we are on the internet. And you know, we can go in here and kind of configure some things here. Well, let's uh, make this a little bit bigger here. Drag it over there. Make the screen a little bigger on it there. There we go. And so yeah, so we are on the internet. And like all these classic browsers, you can go in and kind of configure them a little bit. So maybe we'll be able to maybe tweak it a little bit to make it just a little bit more quicker. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is awesome. Now I'm just going to kind of scroll down here and see what we got here. Like I said, this is extremely slow, but you know, this is only a 10 base Ethernet, and uh, that's very slow by today's standard. Now, if it was a gigabyte Ethernet, it would definitely be communicating a lot faster. 
but you know we're limited by a lot of things uh, the you know, internet speed uh, that this can travel at due to the card and also the processor itself needless to say we're on the internet and I think it's pretty cool like I said we have to tweak this system a little bit maybe we can get it to respond a little faster um, you know you can only get so much out of this machine but this old devil of a power book hey it's on it that's oh, awesome I consider this a success and um, I'm just gonna hit Google search here <laughs> Look at that. It, it's uh, brought up one of my thumbnails in one of my videos. Now, I'm, I'm not even going to try to play it, but that's pretty cool. I'm, it only took a half hour to load it up, but hey, at least it's on there. See, it's even showing me some of the things on YouTube there. It's pretty cool. I'm very, very, very pleased. Uh, like I said, there's I, I don't even want to try to uh, play this um, because I know it's just it's not going to do anything. Yeah, this is awesome. You know, what, just just for just for fun, we'll, we'll just try it. What what the heck? Let's, let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. Now, unfortunately, if we could run 10.4 Fox on this machine, uh, we could get uh, YouTube videos, um, uh, not not on this processor, but if we, at the very least, if we were running a G3 upgrade in this thing, we probably would be able to get the, the uh, lowest resolution. Uh, I can play it on my cube, no problem, on the 10.4 Fox. And then I have a other application on there that I can go and play YouTube videos that plays them really good. Now see, at least with this this browser, you can get on it with the, the old Internet Explorer and the Netscape. You couldn't even get you couldn't even get on the Internet because it kept coming up security issues. At least this has some security. Well, it's not loading up anymore. So, like I said, I didn't I didn't think it would, you know, be able to play it. Light it one more time just to see. Now one thing I did do is I gave this a lot more memory. Um, I had it on 100 uh, megabytes of virtual memory and I put it on 200 and uh, that way it gives this thing you know, enough memory to, uh, to work with. I might even increase that a little bit more. Maybe that'll kind of speed things up a little bit. Because it is a CF drive, it's much faster access time than a mechanical hard drive. See, that's going to give me that alert again. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to play it, but I didn't think we would anyway. So that's all right, though. But at least it, you can, at least you can search it. So that's it. That's impressive. 
that's good. At least you can search it and you can kind of scroll down with it there. Scrolling's <coughs> scrolling's not very smooth, but that's to be expected. So yeah. So like I said, um yeah, I'll have to play with this a little bit just to see what else we can get out of it. But uh yeah, it uh it works pretty good. Um I'm surprised, but like I said, I'm glad that we were able to get it on the internet. That's fantastic. Uh, let me just uh, close out of this here. We're going to quit. There we go. Get out of that. I'm going to clean this desktop up too so you have all these things laying over it. But uh, yeah, you know, and it's like with this, every time you use it, like the second time I booted it up, it was much faster. And uh, and like I said, the next time it'll probably boot up even a little bit faster as it kind of gets the system sorted out a little bit. So I'm going to consider this a success. Uh, we did get it on the internet. Extremely slow, but we did do it. And it is still able to get to the internet, and that's awesome. And I'm very happy that it did. So all my work was not in vain. So anyway guys, um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. And we're also on Twitter now too. And uh, so next time uh, we're going to do another update on this machine. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to put a more modern optical drive in it. And like I said, I had one in there originally. Uh, I need to find one that uh, has the, like, the little off and on button on the front of it. So I'm going to search around and find one for that. It would be nice to get a combo drive in there so we can read CDs and, and uh, DVDs and uh, maybe even burn them too. We'll see. You know, this does have the system 9.1 so it's got a lot more drivers on it than system uh, 8 had on it. Um, might even be able to get some type of USB dongle on this thing. There might be some conversion for it. I'm not seeing one, but you never know. And uh, that would be kind of interesting to be able to do that too. Maybe we can utilize the other uh, comm slot on it there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.